girls, we have a couple new things for you this week. We're going to introduce a Tabata workout and we're releasing these brand new leggings for the giveaway. So before I get into what Tabata means, um, we just wanted to address some questions in the group about motivation. We've gotten some great answers from other members, but we wanted to address it as well. So how do we stay motivated? How do we build this lifestyle of fitness? Um, we set new goals. We try new things. So a lot of you haven't heard about handstand push-ups, maybe have tried pull-ups for the first time, um, rope climbs, double unders, muscle ups, we'll get into that, we haven't even introduced those yet. So we try new movements and we set new goals for ourselves. So instead of every Monday and Tuesday working on back and tries, that routine really gets boring and it's hard to stay motivated. So we want to introduce new movements and set those goals and continue working on them. So with that being said, today we have a Tabata workout, which we haven't gone over yet, um, but let's get into the workout. Okay, so what Tabata means is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, for eight rounds. So during that 20 seconds of work, we want you to do max effort, then you have 10 seconds of rest. So what the movements that we have for you today are pull-ups, weighted squats, and ground to overhead. So you're gonna be doing 20 seconds of work, pull-ups, 10 seconds of rest for eight rounds. You're gonna have a minute rest, then you're gonna to go to 20 seconds of work for weighted squats, eight rounds, one minute rest, and then you're gonna do ground to overhead, 20 seconds of work, max effort, um, 10 seconds of rest for eight rounds. So don't be confused if you're sitting there like, what is she talking about, Tabata? Don't be confused, we've actually added a song too to the Spotify list um, that will actually tell you when you should be working, when you should be resting. Pull-ups. This is a great workout to try to incorporate your pull-ups into, even if you haven't completely mastered them yet, because you don't have to hit a set number. Kelsey is using a butterfly kip here, but you can use whatever type of pull-up you feel comfortable with. Just make sure you get that chin over the bar. The scale for people who haven't quite got that first pull-up is a seated pull-up. And it's a great, great way to build the strength so you can get that first unassisted pull-up. Try to ensure that you set your bar so your elbows are completely locked out when sitting. You will get the most from the movement this way. Make sure you lower down slow and controlled to build up that lat strength and you'll have your pull-ups in no time. Ring rows are another great option for scaling pull-ups and these are fantastic for building the same pulling muscles that you need on the bar. Maintain a super tight body position as you touch the rings to your chest and then lower down. These can be made a little more difficult by walking your feet out to a more horizontal body position. Weighted squats. We are leaving it up to you here on how you feel most comfortable holding your weight, but make absolutely sure you maintain good positioning in whatever hold you choose. That means chest up, flat back, and squatting full depth to below parallel. Kelsey is using a 25 pound plate here, so choose a weight that feels challenging, but you can do for eight rounds. Ground to overhead. These will have you breathing heavy, but it is imperative that you hold good form here. The rep starts with the plate touching the floor and ends locked out overhead. We do not want to see any round backs here. Engage that core and midline to ensure you have a completely flat back when you're touching the weight to the ground. Again, Kelsey is using 25 pounds. Choose your weight accordingly. Okay, so don't forget to turn on your Tabata playlist on Spotify. Um, if you don't have that, download the Tabata so you have the timer that's going off. And don't forget to keep track of your reps. How we're gonna score this is um, keep a running total, so after you're done with the pull-ups during the one minute rest, write down how many pull-ups you got. When you're done with the squats, write down how many squats you got. When you're done with the ground to overhead, write down your total. So at the end, we'll have a grand total of how much you got. Um, Alright, let's get into the workout. Welcome to Tabata. Here we go with five, four, three, two, one, go! Three, 
three, two, one, go! Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Round one! Five, four, three, two, one, stop! Four, three, two, one, go! All right, guys, this is a great workout um, to work on your pull ups. A couple things is a lot of pull up reps. So just make sure you find a scale that's challenging for yourself, but that you're going to be able to maintain. Um, for the ground to overhead, just make sure you're keeping a good positioning. We don't want to see you, since you're going to the ground, don't flop over and lose tension. Make sure you fall that plate down and lock it up, squeezing your butt, squeezing your abs. All right, guys, have fun with this one. Get the Spotify workout. Help me through, and I'll see you next week.